Oleg Zazierski. Good morning. I will start with general information that penile cancer within the structure of malignant diseases um, accounts for 0.9 percent. This is more than 34,000 patients by WHO data uh, in 2018. In 95% it's squam cell carcinoma and 50% associated with HPV. Despite the relevant, uh, relatively rare disease, the mortality is very high. Over 15,000 by WHO data for 2018. Five-year survival rate accounts for 50 percent, and it's higher than 85 percent of patients with negative lymph nodes and 95 to 40 percent of patients with positive lymph nodes. So uh, this information prompts us that uh, we should look into benign and precancerous uh, lesions, and we should first of all understand the effective preventative uh, measures uh, pre uh, to prevent malignization. So precancerous uh, diseases are approximately 10 percent of all the penile, penile malformations, and the risk of uh, malignization is approximately 30 percent by different data. Non-invasive uh, uh, malformations with uh, organ sparing. As a matter of fact, it's quite difficult uh, to know apart from other benign dermatoses. And also, it's prone to late onset of disease. And uh, as a matter of fact, it can lead to progression of invasive carcinoma, which would require more extensive surgery. If we speak about uh, benign and precancer disease of the penis, it could be uh, divided into related and not related to HPV. Related to HPV, this is intraepithelial neoplasia, which uh, is warty type, basaloid and warty basaloid types. At the moment, we use another classification, such as erythroplasia of Kera, uh, bone disease, and also, very frequently, it is associated with HPV of 16 and 18 types. Also, this is giant uh, uh, carcinoma uh, or buchi levenstein disease related to HPV 6 and 11 types. And also, disease is not related to HPV. These are sclerotic lichen of the penis, uh, cornea skin, uh, uh, epitheliomatosis balanitis, and differentiated type of uh, P P P e in. This uh, Buschia Levenstein uh, tumor is a candeloma variant, and macroscopically speaking, these are huge uh, exophyte type uh, malformations which can uh, damage any area of inner genitals uh, and include just unlike candelomas, they can um, grow into deeper soft tissue, uh, bringing about quite significant local damage. And the uh, malignization is very rare. Thus, this particular malformation is seen as invasive, um, squam cell carcinoma, uh, low grade, and they are uh, radically just excised. The, uh, Treatment of this disease can be subdivided into three types. This is local therapy with the use of pedophiline, fluorouracine, as well as radiation therapy, also surgical removal with the use of um, laser or uh, cryo uh, surgery, also CO2, electrocalculation, and also surgical methods of treatment, surgical removement, removal, and also immune therapy. For example, with imiquimod. When you choose therapy, you should take into account several factors, such as the thickness and the size of malformation, their location, uh, number of lesions, and also the presence of HPV positivity, and also, uh, also the choice of patients. 
uh, if we speak about the choice of uh, the choice of a doctor, that would be surgical correction. Our risk of recurrence reduces uh, 45%. Good thing is that histology is available and uh, weak points. Uh, uh, if we think about uh, excision, broad excision, quite often it's a partial uh, operation and then skin uh, operation, skin replacement uh, should be applied. If we speak about uh, surgery, it's uh, most type of operation, layer after layer. Uh, is removed in uh, the in the uh, uh, lesion, uh, and uh, if we speak about papilloma acuminatum, uh, we could think about uh, other methods and uh, radiation, for example. Actually, uh, it's curable, 61 percent. Uh, it's operation. If it's local operation or chemo radiation, it's, uh, the percentage is lower uh, of curability. Uh, if we speak about recurrency, uh, we Chemo, for example, it's applicable, but blomisine, uh, uh, interferon, uh, systemic approach of cis, uh, cisplatum, uh, uh, equimot also showed its efficacy in uh, recurrency cases together with ablation with a CO2 laser and uh, in patients with HPV positive associated situation. If we speak about radiation, it's uh, questionable for the big lesions pre-op uh, uh, radiation therapy is applied, then it's surgery, and one of uh, the regimes is introduction of uh, vitamin C and uh, uh, introduction into tumor, uh, into tumor bed. Uh, if we speak about uh, prospects, uh, it's uh, we should think about autologic uh, immunization with pendulum uh, and sclerotic uh, uh, lichen uh, of penis is chronic progressive uh, inflammatory disease. It's a trophic sport could be seen and like blooming on the balanus. Quite often, uh, it's, uh, it's this pathology uh, uh, could be connected uh, uh, with the urination uh, and um, uh, with phimosis, uh, with effect from urine. Uh, uh, in cases of leakage, for example, we see it in men uh, without circumcision. And uh, the frequency of cases of this licking is not quite obvious, but there are data. Uh, it's 0.7% uh, uh, among 153,000 patients. Uh, this uh, is the prevalence. Uh, it uh, this pathology is, could be associated with squamous cell cancer norma. All uh, right now, uh, quite uh, quite contemporary, quite s state to the art protocols for treatment are uh, introduced into our practice. Uh, just reduce contacts uh, uh, with the soak. Uh, soap uh, with the uh, other hygienic means with urine and shaving of uh, uh, shaving around uh, uh, of pubis, for example, uh, corticosteroids are used, uh, topical uh, ones. They, re uh, they uh, result in uh, remission, long time remission in 56%. Uh, of patients. In other cases, when it do does not help, uh, surgery is recommended and circ uh, circumcision as well, uh, which gives good good results regarding the prolongation 
of remission in 75% of such patients could be achieved. Uh, State-of-the-art diagnostics uh, allows to restore or preserve the sexual function and uh, to reduce uh, the malignant transformation chances for it. Horny, uh, it's horny, it's horn, uh, uh, penile. Uh, so we sometimes see it on skin or face skin, on the skin of the ears because it's associated uh, with uh, ultraviolet rays uh, impact. Uh, so we do not see it often on the penis. Usually we are dealing with men with this pathology wilder than 65. Uh, it's no symptoms. Sometimes it could be discovered um, unexpectedly. It's a in 60%, even more, it's connected with B9 processes. 39%, uh, it's uh, cancer. Uh, it is classified now as pre cancer state. And uh, uh, it could be uh, transformed uh, phimosis, chronic. Uh, Chronical inflammation contribute into the chances to de develop uh, cancer. First stage of, uh, of treatment is uh, uh, exact diagnosis, and then results of histology uh, give us uh, understanding of uh, that treatment. Uh, we are interested here not uh, of the underlying. Uh, layers uh, of this horn, so surgery with histology are necessary when there are suspicion for malignancy. Uh, we should uh, carry out broad uh, surgical operation. There we could think about laser therapy and other methods, so cryotherapy could be considered the cryotherapy. Uh, was described as a less effective method of treatment of this disease. Uh, in cases of benign uh, lesion, uh, excision is enough. If it's water carcinoma, we have to carry out broad uh, margins, uh, excision of this uh, uh, pathology. If biopsy, uh, if biopsy shows squamous cell cancer, then uh, we prefer penectomy uh, with the uh, uh, pl plasticity of urethra. Uh, 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 the balanitis, uh, this type of balanitis, uh, intraepithelial. It's a rare disease. It's typical of more elderly men. In microscopy, it looks like a carotid plaque, a very, very thick one with a whitish kind of uh, um, uh, blooming, blooming. Sometimes it's whitish blooming with a reddish uh, spots. Uh, symptom, uh, symptomless, but there could be uh, uncomfortable manifestations like itching. Uh, it's, uh, uh, sometimes it resembles a uh, water horn. Uh, no, tor uracil, uh, uh, topical corticosteroids, cryotherapy, ray therapy, and uh, of course, uh, excision, surgical excision. This is a chronic disease. Uh, it connected with a, a recurrency, high level of recurrency. Uh, quite often, the treatment is partial. When we suspect uh, uh, malignancy, we have to apply aggressive uh, surgery, and sometimes it's a penectomy is necessary. Uh, Uh, differential intraepithelial neoplasia. It's a uh, pre squamous cell carcinoma. Uh, retroplasia chira in previous uh, uh, classification. And uh, 
it's associated with a highly differential carcinoma. A tendency is um, as following, uh, it uh, develops uh, mostly in elderly men without uh, circumcision and it uh, involves uh, uh, mostly prepucium uh, area. Uh, basaloid type, uh, it's a uh, water type and water basaloid type. Uh, uh, these are three types of it. Uh, the first one, 30 percent, accounts of 30 percent. Uh, it's a water type, and the basaloid, it's associated with the changes of epithelium. It's a flat type of process. Parakeratose is possible as well. This type is connected with the HIV, it's associated with the number 16, 16 type, a water type. It has a kind of uh, 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 bar wire type of developments, so wave type of developments, can uh, uh, papillar forms and so on. And again, connected with HPV 16, water basaloid type. It's uh, uh, as wavy uh, surface which covered with bulbs. And uh, uh, HPV is usually found. If we speak about treatment of those ties, uh, uh, intraepithelial situation is uh, considered to be oncology in city, and it means according to the protocols, uh, we have to treat it as a, a penile cancer. So it uh, includes local therapy, excision, laser. And sometimes it's most operation and quite often glansectomy. Gels are used in equivalent 5% and uh, applications as well 5% of uh, uh, fluoracil. Uh, uh, it's, uh, um, we introduce, we apply 3-5%. Uh, 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 acid, uh, which makes skin to become a more uh, soft, and uh, it helps us to uh, during later th uh, therapy. Uh, excision is a method of choice for patients in uh, cases when it's not differential type of, of tumor. Uh, things uh, depend on localization of the tumor. Uh, if it's diaphysis, of course, it should be broad margin, circumcision, uh, surgery, uh, partial uh, circumcision when it's distal, a part of the uh, prepucium is uh, involved. When it's broad skin excision, uh, transplant, skin transplant could be used, the skin graft. Uh, uh, sometimes we could consider separately tumors of bellinus. Uh, of course, the method of choice is most operation with an alternative to broad excision. This method allow to minimize the volume of operation of removal of tissue, but it's difficult to carry it, it out from the technical point of view, so it's applied in rare cases. If, if uh, we uh, speak about treatment of such precancer diseases, uh, we know that some, quite often there are no symptoms in patients. Some patients prefer to avoid uh, seeing the doctor. It's very difficult to speak about uh, uh, precancer or uh, such type of benign yeah, diseases. Their prevalence in population is not not uh, possible to estimate exactly, and uh, many things depend on the doctors. Uh, actually, for we improve acknowledgement, we could improve the quality of.